Okie dokie, hello, welcome to Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube um, or welcome back if you're watching again um, I'm going to be using the Rad Tracker tool which is free to use and it's on my website if you want to use it make sure you navigate over over to my website if you want to use that um, it looks, well I'm going to show you what it looks like when I go into the table just let me just load up the table in the background there we go. So this is the tool. This is what it looks like. I'll just expand it so you can see the whole setup. That's what it looks like. It runs from your browser window. It's um, a link you click on and it just go it opens straight away. Um, you've got two options at the top. The top menu here, you've got European Roulette Single Zero or Double Zero American Roulette. Now, if you click the reset button while you've got American, it doesn't reset back down to European. So you've got to put it back to European manually. Remember that. Otherwise, you might be having it set to a American wheel uh, layout on a European table. So um, you can input up to a maximum of 1,000 comma-separated numbers. So a number, then a comma, then a number, then a comma. It lets you do that. Um, although I just put in the last however many and just keep adding to the bit, the end of it. Whatever the net. Ne Whatever the next number is that drops in, it just add it to the beginning of the list and click calculate after each round. And what it does, it does um it does the average um distance between the last two numbers. Um or every other number. And it does it in a clockwise direction and a counterclockwise direction. So you're gonna get three numbers output on a racetrack highlighted in blue. And they're also going to be highlighted here as well in blue on this line here. You're going to get three numbers. And then you've got a racetrack showing you where they are in the racetrack. Because you'll be placing the bets on the racetrack. Neighbours buy two on that. And uh, this is how you do it. So I'm going to input the numbers from the history. 20, 31, 35, 34, 35, 27, 8, 10, 4, 9, 7, 24 and 14. So... I'm going to click calculate now because these were the numbers that I would have been betting on on this spin. I am going to wait for a winning spin first before I place a bet. So 27 is here. That's miles away from the 4, 28 and the 12. So we type in 27 and click calculate. And that gives me another three sets of numbers. Three set of numbers. 15, 32, 26. 26, 32, 15. Two pockets either side is where we will be placing the bets but i'm not placing a bet until i get a winning scenario i want a winning scenario first let me just close this up so we need to see two pockets either side of 26 land or the 32 or the 15. nearly we're getting closer so i'm going to input number seven at the beginning click calculate then that's going to give me another three set of numbers 16 30 and the zero on the input list here i always put a comma and then go to the left of that comma ready for the next number so i'm waiting for a hit first on one of these numbers with the two numbers either side of the those numbers that are highlighted so you've got 15 numbers highlighted you'll have or that but that i'm going to be betting on 15 numbers I've got £45.29, that's my start, and I'm looking for one of those to hit. Number 5, that's a hit because it's two pockets to the side is 16, so click 5, click calculate. This is a bet. Now we've got two 18s, if you've got two of the same number, you do the last number out, and you do the other numbers as well. So I've got the 5 covered, because that's the last Bets number out. Closing. Because you've got two numbers the same, 18 and 18, it's only highlighting two blue areas, bets, two, two numbers on the racetrack. You cover the last number because you want three sets of numbers. Because that, six, that number five was a hit from the 16, two pockets to the side of 16, this is the, this is the bet. This is when I start betting, that's my trigger. That's a miss, it's number four, four. so type four, Flat. comma... Calculate. Please place your bets. Twenty twenty. So we cover the four, the twenty, and the eleven. Bets closing. Second bet flat rate. Third bet's a double up. So 
I've covered the four because we've got two 20s. No more bets, two of the same number, you cover the last number out. Usually it's the last number that hits when you do that. When you've got two of the same number, you usually get the last number hitting. That's what you'll find. So we're on 11, 20 and the four. Second bet. Looking for one hit. Nearly. 34. So click type 34. This is now a double up. Red. So 5, 24, 23. Please place your bets. Wow, these are all clustered together. This is a double up. This is a good. Uh, this would be a good good time to hit because they're all clustered together. Closing. So they've got 33 all the way around to number 30. So 33 through to 30, and if it hits, no more bets, if it hits numbers five or ten, they're my jackpot numbers. And this is a double up. The next would be a triple up. 33 to 30. Is the bet. Look at that. Eight's a hit. Boom. Eight. We'll take that. That is you profit. Win. Please place your bets. That is a stop. So input my number. Uh, 46.49 is what my balance is at. 46.49 is the balance. Um, what did I make? One pounds twenty, I think I made there. Yeah, I did. One pounds twenty profit. I'll take that. So I'm not looking to make massive amounts of profit. I'm not interested in that. Can I make a profit? That's what I'm interested in. That's my buzz. Can I make a profit? Am I able to do whatever I do? Any type of gameplay strategy, setup, system, whatever you want to call it, I'm able to get into a value of profit. Yes, I am. I've just demonstrated that there. So I want to switch tables and do it again. Or try to do it again on another table. So let's go with American table, actually. May as well, because I can switch it to an American table. But this is a 20 pence stake, this one. So it's going to cost me more money if I lose. One. 35, 5, 1, 10, 30, 8, 0, 0, 15, 13, 6, 33, 25. So I'm going to click calculate because um, I'm going to wait for the trigger. The trigger is to try and hit with a win. So I've switched it to double zero, uh, which is what you can see. Double zero there and a single zero there. And we're going to see if I can get one of these trigger numbers hitting. Then I'm going to place a bet. 35, that's one off. In fact, that's two off. Click calculate. So next bet coming up. Next spin coming up. So we're waiting for a winning spin before I place a bet. So the reason behind waiting for a winning spin before I place a bet is that I want to try and hit again within. If it's hitting, basically, on the numbers that it's that it's doing this on, it's going to hit again not long after. That's the theory. And I'm just going to stick with that theory because it seems to work. What's that? 26. That's miles away. So I'll click calculate. All my numbers were around here and it was number 26, which is down there. So we've now got 6, 31, and 22. Now, this is probably, I would say this is going to get, this is going to be a winning spin, I think. So then I'll start placing bets from this point onwards. So I'm going to make this my last table to play doing this rad tracker tool. And then I'll switch to something different. So 6, 31, 22. There you go, right in the middle. 18 would have been a jackpot number. That would have been a jackpot number, that, because that would have been covered twice. So now I can place bets. So 27. Um, number 14. Put a bit of sound on, number 30. There you go. So we've got uh, the obvious number that I don't have in the range is 28. I don't have 28, but I've got every other number either side of that. I've got the 9 and the 0, but not 28. So 28 could hit as a losing spin. This is my first spin. Let's see if I can catch a win on my first spin. 27, 14, 30 with two pockets either side. Got a dealer change. Might be double zero. What's that? 19? That is a miss. Click calculate. Bosh. So 35, 26, 27. So my obvious number that I don't have is the zero now. Single zero. So that could land because of the dealer change. 
Zeros like to land on the dealer change. Hopefully it's the double zero, neighbor of that, because we've got the 27, 10, 25, the zero and the one. Although it could be close to this zero, 14, 2, 28 and 9. I'll take that as well. This is my second bet. My, my next bet will be a double up if I lose on this spin. Nah, it's a loss. 12. Didn't want to play that, did it? Right. Now I've got two of the same number. I'll do the same number I get. Two of the same, 16. So I'll do 12. I'll do the 16 and the 32. And this is a double up. So this this is where it can go drastically wrong now because I'm at 20p 20p stakes. I've just doubled up. I'm on the last number out because we've got two 16s. This needs to hit now, ideally, because this is now a double up. <clears throat> My next bet will be a triple up, and it'll start costing down at 34, 49, 12, 16, 32, one. There's the one. That's what I wanted before. So 4, 17 and 20. This is a triple up. £9 stake. So if it hits 32, well basically if it hits 17, 20 or 32. 17, 20, 32 are my jackpot numbers. Hit one of those and then that's going to give me a massive return. And I'll definitely stop at that anyway. Down at £25. Start to be 46 on this one. So 4, 17 and 20. 11. That's a hit. Boom. We've got the 11, so we'll take that. I am going to stop. Reset that. Turn off the sound. I've got £47.09. 47. Uh, zero nine. I am going to take that. I don't care how little of a return that is. That is, it's not a lot, but we'll get it. Well, I'm taking it because for me, that's a result. Sixty pence profit that paid, and I'll take that. I will definitely take sixty pence. Absolutely, hundred percent. Right. That is that done. I've done the rad tracker. I've done unique number selection. I've done the single number selection. These are all free tools to use from my website. The website address will be in the list, listed in the description below. And it'll also be in the just in the main header, under the main header on my YouTube channel. What I'm trying to show and share on my channel is you can use anything to get into a little bit of profit when you gamble. If you learn to stop sooner, you will build a balance. If you stay on for too long and outstay your welcome, you will lose all the time because casinos are here to take your money all the time. They're always here to take, not to give. So if you get those little bits of wins, you know, profit and stop. That was a manipulated spin from 7 to 34. Please watch that back. Please watch this spin back. From that number 7, watch how it moved the ball to 34 because that is not correct. That is... that defies the laws of physics in the way that operated that was very very wrong in many ways and that's why if you don't think manipulated spins are a thing that that, that was one of them that was definitely manipulation 100 percent. however they're doing it it's definitely not that does that does not make sense to how it how it shot out that pocket from 7 to 34 you can actually make a game play around the odd looking spin selection method which is what I'm all about. I can, I've done loads of demonstrations on betting on numbers that end up in a pocket in an odd way or a manipulated looking fashion because that number is going to come in again within a few spins of it landing. So that 34, I'm just going to demonstrate that now. That number 34 here is going to hit again or the two pockets out the side of 34 is going to hit, right? So what's two either side of 34? Where is 34? 5, 22, 15, and 3, right? 34 with two pockets either side is going to hit within four spins. Right, that's that's from when it first hit. That's the second hit. So we're gonna I'm gonna see that 34 hit again. Um do I give it five? I'm not sure if I give it five spins. I think it's five. Within five. Odd looking spin selection method. I've done plenty of um, live streams and YouTube videos 
on odd looking spin selection methods just just watch it i'll tell you every table on every casino online they do it in the same manner and you can pick up on that and get a win out of it so 34 is the pick with the neighbor number because of how it interacted with that pocket 100 percent and the reason for that is because of how people bet so people bet on the same set of numbers most of the time um you know um that uh, let's just say recre recreational gamblers let's say um they bet on the same set of numbers all the time they keep repeating 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 just have more money and if a ball's gone into a pocket in an odd manner it's normally one pocket away from where all the money's at right and if people are re um just doing the same bet watch there you go neighbor number 34 boom there's your hit there's your money this is what they do this is exactly what they do so i won't i would have won that because it's two pockets to the side of 34 at least so it's like one number away from 34 so i would have i would have caught that any number that drops in any 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 wheel that shows the ball dropping in on a number which is odd looking make a note of that number and see if it hits two pockets either side of that number or that same number again within five spins make a note of how many times that happens and you'll find it happens a hell of a lot that's for sure so that's a freebie for you although you've probably seen me do that before if you've watched my channel before anybody new uh, you might, might want to look through my videos look at that that's that's a hit and run i call that a hit and run I have seven different styles of manipulated spins, and that's one of them. That's a hit and run. That's actually jogged on, that was. So 28 is a selection now. So look for 28, right? You ready? I'm not going to bet this, but I'm just going to show you. 28 is going to hit within five spins with two numbers either side of it. It's either going to hit the 28 again, or the two numbers either side are going to hit. So 26 to 2 is going to hit within five spins. And this is the first of the five. Because of the action on the ball landing in that pocket of 28 looked really odd, manipulated. So we're going to see 28 or the neighbour hitting again. And that was nearly it. It was in that region, but we're not quite there yet. We'll get there. That's one spin. So we've got four more spins to try and collect on this 28 neighbour. This is the manipulation spin or the odd looking spin selection method. I call it. Some people don't like the word of the term manipulation, but it's it's an odd looking spin selection method, for want of a better phrase, a uh, better term. Odd looking spin selection method. So we're looking for 28 with two either side. So uh, 26, 9, 28, 0, 2. Five numbers in a row. 26 to 2. That's the second spin. So I've got three more spins to try and try and get this this number hitting so the reason like i say the reason there's loads of different things you can pick up on tables and this is why it's not it's not a fair game because of this action of the ball reacting like it does like it does all these people that use pure math to try and work out of the holy grail of hitting every spin for roulette I mean, it's just a non-starter because if they don't, they've, they're sort of overlooking the aspect of it not being a fair game with these types of spins, with these manipulated spins. You cannot create a formula that will dictate the next, um, you know, every spin. It just doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. It's it's a business. It's a casino business to make money. The 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 here to to make money. It's a business. Businesses. They run to make money. They don't run at a loss. So, you know, they're not here to give you money. They're here to take it. So they're very good at it. And they'll, they'll exploit wherever they can, as much as they can, and get away with as much as they can, uh, whether it's fair or not, in my opinion. And, yeah. So this is now the fourth bet, looking for 28 neighbor. I've got two spins, this spin and the next. It might miss. It might hit. Who knows? Let's find out. Number 28. 26 to 2, near that single zero. Right, here we go. Fifth and final spin coming up for that number 28. Let's see if that double zero goes opposite to the single zero. 
or if it's nowhere near. I might totally miss and be out on this one, but you know, that's still gambling. I'm not going to win all the time, unfortunately. But if I can show you little bits of ideas that you can try, you know, for free. Happy day. She's not spinning it from the correct position. You should spin the ball from the um, the previous number out within the the uh, two of the frets. I think it is. Oh look! Oh, it's close. Two pockets off. I got close to it, but it wasn't a hit. So I failed on that one. That twenty-eight was an odd-looking spin. I give it five spins. It didn't hit. The eleven was the closest I got to it, but that was kind of something I wanted to show you as well. That's me done. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the content. See you again soon.